Hey folks, Chef Jesse here. Well, today this is part one of my, I'm in the kitchen nice and early and I am going to start preparing food for today. But first I'm going to start off with dessert. I'm making a flan. A flan is a, I don't know how to translate these things. A flan is a, like an egg, egg custard kind of dessert. It's got sugar on it. It's very sugary. Uh, you don't add sugar, just sugar. There's like a little syrup, sugar, sugar syrup on top of it or in the bottom of it, whatever you want to call it. But it has eggs and it's got carnation milk and it's like magnolia. I guess there's other ways to make it, but this is the way I learned how to make it. I got a recipe from uh, from somebody online that uh, is a great cook and I do flan and it's delicious. And today I'm going to do a cheese flan, which is just like the flan, but I'm going to add cream cheese to it and it's going to come out. I tried it once and it came out delicious and it was like a, like a, like a cheesecake. And uh, anyway, folks, I'm going to show you, I'm going to, today's going to be a long day in the kitchen, so I can't really do a video because it'll be, you know, hours. But today, step by step, I'm going to make, I'm going to show you how I make basic flan. So I'm going to start off first by melting my sugar. And I got a pan. I think this is a nine inch, nine inch pan. This is what I'm going to do. And this, this, this is, the flan is cooked in a pan like this with water. Uh, you fill it up with water and you put this in here and then you put it in the oven for about an hour at 350 and you cook it cooks slowly with the, with the heat and that's how you make the flan and then so in the bottom of this flan folks i'm going to put some sugar i need some uh, there's some sugar that goes in the bottom here which is like the, the little custard juice whatever syrup thing so i'm going to start off by melting my sugar and i'm going to show you how to do this and you got to be very careful when you melt sugar because it stick if it sticks to your fingers forget it it'll burn the hell out of it so i'm going to start uh, browning my sugar uh melting my sugar Make sure you don't brown this too much because what happens is uh, you'll get that bitter taste when you when the sugar. So uh, let me take you bring you down here to the sugar. Okay, this is the sugar right now, and I just turned it on, just turned it up on medium low. Like uh, this, I'm going to preheat my oven to 350, and I'm going to put water in this pan here. And I know most of you probably. Really are cooking already so I'm gonna make sure that this is uh that's about it let me see that's that's good enough okay so again put this to the side here and preheat this preheat this of water preheat this water in the oven okay in the oven goes okay so now you gotta be keep an eye on this sugar because right away it, it it will quickly melt melt and burn and if you burn it, you get the bitter taste of the sugar. So just gotta keep stirring it and add to it. And um, I'll show you how this is done. Okay, so when you see it starts to uh, starts to melt, then you have to start shaking it around. Okay. So anyway, folks, uh, like I said, you keep keep eye on it. And this is the only sugar that this dessert is gonna take. You're not gonna put any more sugar in it or anything like that just the, the, uh, the juice so don't add sugar to it because it'll be too sweet and you, you know you read uh, this this doesn't take all that sugar just this this is just a a topping of, of, uh, of sugar so okay so I can start feeling my starting to get sticky on the sides here and soon you'll see how it starts to melt and again be careful with this you burn your fingers if it lands on your fingers forget it. it's gonna stick to your spoon just dip your spoon in water for a little while, leave it there, and it will melt off. Okay, so just keep it, keep eye on it, and uh, you can raise the flame a little bit, the light, the uh, the heat, and um, just keep eye on it. And it's a slow process, but once it starts, it's gonna, it's gonna take, uh, it's gonna start up. I'm telling you. Okay, so. On the sides here, I can see it starting to melt. Okay, there you go. Okay, so there you go. So it's, it's going to start getting into little. Okay, and make sure that it's all melted. You don't want to bite into a dessert and bite into this big piece of sugar. So, and this might take more sugar than than right now, but make sure that it's all. Make sure you crush it down. Make sure that it's all melted. And again, being very careful that you don't burn yourself because this thing will stick to you like glue and will like won't let go and you'll be burning, screaming. So 
So it's one of those things that, like hot wax. Okay. So there it goes. It's starting to melt now. You can see. Okay. And I might definitely need more more sugar in here. And let's get rid of this one first. And keep if you keep moving it, you get all those particles out of the way. Okay. There we go. Now this is this is probably not enough. I, I like to make. I like to have this. So I'm gonna pour another. I don't know. I would say a cup of sugar, uh, uh, or more or less. Okay. But I like to have uh, plenty of juice. Okay. So once you get that first coating down there melted, you gotta. It's gonna. You gotta feel it. Okay. So. And again, be very, very careful with this. This thing lands on your fingers, on any part of your skin. It's gonna burn the hell out of you. Okay. So there you go. So this is the color you're looking for. You don't don't. If you brown it too much, it's gonna be bitter. I'm telling you, it's gonna be bitter, and you, it won't it give the dessert. Okay. Now you're probably saying, "Oh my God, that's a lot of sugar." Yes, it is. As long as a lot of sugar, this is not a dessert for diabetics, like myself. But. Remember, this is only the little juice that's going to go in the bottom, or well, at the top when you flip it, just to give it the little taste, but you're not going to, like, you drink this. But it does have a lot of sugar, and this is one of the things you just have to be careful if you're diabetic, right? Oh, look at that. I took a chance and put my finger there, but it wasn't hot, so, okay. So make sure you melt everything down, you break everything down, okay? And keep eye on it, lower the flame, keep an eye on it. You you start to smell it if it's burning, then you know it's if the sugar's burning, then you know it's uh, it's time to take it off the flame. This is starting to smoke a bit, so now I know it's time to get it out because if not, it's gonna come, become too it's gonna burn too much and then it's gonna give it a, a bitter taste, you know. So now you take your your pan here, very simple. Give it a run through the sides, make sure you have no pieces in there. Okay. And it's liquefied. There you go. And you gotta work with this quick because it's gonna get it's gonna get hard quick. So immediately put it into the pan. Okay. I don't know what this is. Okay, this this thing here. Okay, take a bit of that. I don't know what that is. Um okay, so See, it looked like a lot, but it's not really a lot. So, put that there. Uh, this thing gets, okay. So, you're gonna leave this, you're gonna coat the bottom of this, and you're gonna leave this in the bottom. And that's it, that's it for that. So that's how you melt your sugar. Then I'm gonna be using, um, very simple. I'm gonna get my blender. I'm gonna be beating three eggs in there. Three eggs, and uh, I want to show you how this, this is done. Okay, let's put this somewhere else. Okay. So I am going to uh, beat my three eggs, three large eggs. Okay, and let's uh, let's see if I can show you how to do that. I mean, come on, you guys know how to beat an egg, right? There you go. One, two. The reason I'm doing this, and I'm not throwing it straight into the blender, is because let's say an egg is, an egg might come out bad, then you ruin the whole mix. So you got the three eggs in there, and they're good. So put them to the side. Put the eggs to the side, and I'm gonna start off by using uh, sweetened condensed milk. Okay, and I'm gonna put this into my blender. And uh, I have a lot of gadgets in the kitchen, but I don't have an electric can opener. Can you believe that? It's a, this is a kitchen of the future, but anyway, I like it the old side. So start off with one can of, this is very thick and heavy. I usually just put it there and make, make sure it drains out. This is very good milk. This is the only sweetness this flung is going to have. Because you don't want, you don't want to, you don't want to add sugar to it except for that juice that you just made there. So... Make sure you get everything out of it because this is very good. Okay, there you go. 
I'm going to throw in my carnation evaporated milk. This comes in fat free if you want it or 2%. I use the whole, the whole thing. Okay. I'm pretty sure there's other ways to make flan and people are saying, what is he doing? Well, what am I doing? I'm making flan the way somebody taught me. I'm going to add some um, vanilla. Eh, don't measure that. I like vanilla, so. Then I'm going to add my eggs. Now, folks, if you're making regular, if you're making regular flan, this is the time when you put this in the in the in the blender when you blend it. But you're making a cheese flan today, so today you're gonna add. Let me clean this up because I hate. Okay, uh, today you're gonna add the cheese. That's the only difference. If you were making this into a regular flan, you whip this up, put it into the pan with the the with, put it into this, put it for an hour at 350 in the oven, one hour, you know, 70 minutes. Just make sure it doesn't burn. Now I'm making a cheese flan, so it's the same thing. The only thing that's added is, of course, Philadelphia cream cheese, or whatever kind of cheese you get. You know, I like the the good stuff. So, and I'm just gonna put a whole stick in there, a whole bar of butter if I can get this open. There you go. And I'm gonna whip this up. I'm gonna whip this up, and it's very simple, very simple. So. That's it. This is my easy Chef Jesse flan. I don't know how you guys make it. I don't know how you know you were taught, but this is the way somebody showed me how to do it, and it tastes great. I tell you. So I'm gonna take this over to my blender, and I'm gonna start to blend it. So stay with bear with me. I'm gonna start off real slow. I like uh, I have, well, my blender is a Ninja blender. This goes from one to three. I'm gonna start off at two. And then, uh, and then I'm gonna slow it. I'm gonna speed it up. So it's blending in there. Make sure that everything is blended. All the eggs and the egg, the, the cheese and everything is blended in there. Now I went, I'm running up at high speed now. Now I'm gonna stop it. Okay, it looks good it looks everything looks liquefied the cheese everything is in there and I'm gonna whip it one one for about a half a second uh, for about half yeah for half half a minute and then I'm gonna pour it in you're gonna see and my oven should be already uh, preheated and the water should be warm Okay, folks, very simple. There you got it. So, the mix, everything it looks like it's all mixed up, the cheese and everything. And uh, let me let, let me show you how I pour it into in, in here. Okay, very simple, there you go. This is the perfect pan for it. Comes right up to the rim. This is, I believe, nine inches or something, I don't know. I, I, I've, I mean, let's let's measure, right? We got everything here. Yep, yeah, this is a nine inch, nine inch, and it comes with the cover, so you can put the cover on. Uh, the nice plastic cover. You put the cover on. You put it in the fridge. You slice this up. You know, whatever. Okay. So now we gotta put this in the oven. We gotta be very careful. Okay. So I got my oven, which has been preheated already, and my water. I don't want to mix this, mess this up. I don't know if I can take you over to the to the oven. I don't know. Well, you can't see the oven. Anyway, I'm gonna put this into the uh, the pan with water. Make sure I got enough water in there. And uh, I want to bring it up a little bit. So again, this cooks in a pan with water, and then you put this on the pan. So I'm gonna bring the water up to like uh, maybe a almost top there. And I'm gonna slowly push this back in because you don't want the water spitting out of the oven. This is a pain in the butt. Okay. There you go. And it's in the oven at 350. I set my timer for 60 minutes. 
maybe give it another 10 after that. And there goes my easy Uncle Jesse, Chef Jesse's flour. You guys probably know how to make it better than I do. Maybe you know how to make it a different way. But uh, I learned this recipe from a guy named Chet TV uh, on Facebook. And he does all kind of foods and stuff. He's, he's a great cook. He's actually putting together a food truck in Puerto Rico. And uh, he's going through steps and doing videos on that. So look, look him up, Che TV. And uh, he's kind of funny. He's a comedian. He's funny. And it's, and, but he's fun, just like me. And he's, he has fun cooking. And he explains it like it is. And it comes out good. And very simple recipes. So uh, this is a very simple recipe of making flour. And then later on, I'm going to show you how that's done. So again, today, I'm making these videos step by step. Because I can't make a big giant video when I cook it. It'll be, it'll be, it'll be a show. So anyway, this is part one. The flan, which I'm starting on flan, is the food. It's gonna be done quickly. I'm a cook. I'm a quick chef, or you know that. And I think everything is easy. So I'm gonna start off, which is the hardest part, which is the flan. Believe it or not, it's gonna take about an hour, and I'm making two of them. So, and I didn't have another pan to cook it in, so I have to do one at a time. So that's gonna be two hours, just in the dessert alone. So I'm gonna cook this one for an hour, take it out, and I'm gonna mix up the second one without cheese. I'm gonna make a plain flan. This is a cheese flan, and. Uh, that's it, then we're gonna take it from there. So I'll see you guys later.